this is Marie Manu Cherry again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for listening to these videos. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that um, we can make more of them. Yeah, we're excited to do this for you. So today I'm going to talk about the third eye, give you some visuals of what it might look like and how to focus on your third eye. So the third eye is a very different eye than our physical eyes that we have in our beautiful head. Although the third eye is also in your head, it's in your brain. It's called the sixth chakra. And it's literally right, right in the forehead. And it really does open up and it can see, hear, or feel, and all of those things. So in other words, some people are very clairvoyant, which means that they can see through the multisensory world, um, meaning you can see beyond the physical realm or they're clairaudient, they can hear beyond the physical realm, or they're clairsentient, they can feel beyond the physical realm. It's actually normal to have a fully functioning third eye and to use it in your life as much as you use your human eyes, believe it or not. So here's kind of what it would look like. Um, <laughs> so the, I'm getting used to using uh, these boards on the videos. So this is the front of your third eye. Psychic information actually enters in through the back of the third eye. So it comes from what's called the astral plane, which is the field closest to the human reality. So our world is the third dimension. The fourth dimension is the astral plane. And the fifth dimension for the human world is heaven. Um, at least that's my perception of it. So psychic phenomena actually enters from the astral plane, from the astral plane into the back of the third eye. Um, and it's this cone at the back of your head where the occiput is. And the occiput is that bump that's at the back of your head. That's where the back of the, of the third eye is or the sixth chakra. And so it opens up and psychic phenomenon moves in through the back of this area. And then it goes across your brain like a purple laser beam because the third eye or sixth chakra is purple. All the um, primary chakras have a a semi-primary color and then it goes into the front of the third eye which is this place right here where it's translated and this is a picture of a really good front third eye because all these grid lines that I drew these lines that go vertical and horizontal in the cone are indicators of an individual able to take the information from the astral plane move it through their brain and then translate it into what makes sense to us here in the physical realm this other Chakra at the top is the seventh vortex, and that's our connection to the divine. It's our connection to the universe, God, creation, whatever you happen to believe in or whatever words you use are perfectly fine. And it's so important to have an open seventh chakra because energy needs to go down from the heavens into your head and activate your intuition. You want your intuition to be blessed. You want it to be high inspirational. You want it to be loving. You don't want it to be about the human lacks or limitations. You want it to be inspiring for yourself and of course, potentially for others. So that's what the third eye is basically in a nutshell. I'm gonna change boards and, and just kind of show you its friend. So all the chakras have a best friend and their best friends are in your aura. So we have this beautiful auric field that surrounds us. It's divided into seven layers. Each one of the layers has a number on it, just like each one of the primary chakras has a number. So the sixth chakra, which is your third eye, and the sixth layer of the auric field, which is called the psychic layer, they're best friends. All the chakras and all the layers are friends anyway. They all play together on the recess field in good friendship. They don't fight or argue. They all work together very collectively. But there's something very unique about the same numbered primary chakra and field. And so we learn a lot by studying and listening and learning from these paired connections of energy. So um, this is a picture of the aura, that stick person would be you standing in the middle of your auric field. And I just drew out the sixth layer. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more information here. The auric field is actually meant to be as big as three city blocks. Three city blocks above you, three city blocks below you, and three city blocks all around you. It's supposed to be huge. It's as important as the skin on our body. So our skin is the biggest organ on our entire body and it protects us from 
bumping into furniture and potentially hitting a vein and bleeding to death. I know that's an extreme, but I'm just letting you know one of the ways your skin protects you is protects you from the sun. If, if you get too close to a hot surface, it warns you. And if you burn your skin, at least you stop, you move away from, if you can, whatever was burning you so that you don't burn the inside of your body. That's what your auric field is like. It's a natural protective organism. And so having it big and expanded is actually very, very, very healthy. So what I wanted to point out from this board, I wrote the sixth layer on here, and I also wrote the phrase that exists on this field. There's either a word or a phrase on every layer of the aura. And the phrase on this field is, we are all one. So it's important when you move into the psychic realm, as you become more aware of your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairsentient, or perhaps you're all three of them, and which is what knowingness is. You know, strong psychics have what's called knowingness. They can see, hear, and feel information, and that's what gives them the validation to communicate the information that they experience. So the whole concept is that we are all one is really important because the universe loves everything and everyone, doesn't hold any judgment. And so when we move into our psychic consciousness, what allows that to really expand is to be unconditionally loving to others as much as possible. And I know that's kind of hard in the human world. We all have judgments. We all have fears and worries and doubts, and we question things. But to come back to that over and over and over again throughout the day, throughout your week, is really important. That's going to help you to open up the front of your third eye. It's going to help the fourth layer of the field information to move into the back of your third eye and ultimately help you to begin to understand this incredible aspect that you have in your body for yourself. I'll be making more videos about your psychic ability and your intuition, so stay tuned. Have a great day. Bye-bye.